Big Four Audit Firms The Big Four are the four largest international professional services networks, offering audit, assurance, tax, consulting, advisory, actuarial, corporate finance, and legal services. They handle the vast majority of audits for publicly traded companies as well as many private companies, creating an oligopoly in auditing large companies. It is reported that the Big Four audit 99% of the companies in the FTSE 196% of the companies in the FTSE 250, an index of the leading mid-cap listing companies. The Big Four firms are shown below, with their latest publicly available data. This group was once known as the Big Eight, and was reduced to the Big Six, and then Big Five by a series of mergers. The Big Five became the Big Four after the demise of Arthur Anderson in 2002, following its involvement in the Enron scandal. BDO and Grant Thornton are the fifth and sixth largest firms respectively. Legal structure None of the Big Four firms is a single firm. Rather, they are professional services networks. Each is a network of firms, owned and managed independently which have entered into agreements with other member firms in the network to share a common name, brand and quality standards. Each network has established an entity to coordinate the activities of the network. In one case, KPMG, the coordinating entity is Swiss, and in three cases, Deloitte Touche Tohmatsu, PricewaterhouseCoopers and Ernst & Young, the coordinating entity is a UK limited company. Those entities do not themselves perform external professional services, and do not own or control the member firms. They are similar to law firm networks found in the legal profession. In many cases each member firm practices in a single country, and is structured to comply with the regulatory environment in that country. In 2007 KPMG announced a merger of four member firms, in the United Kingdom, Germany, Switzerland and Liechtenstein to form a single firm. Ernst & Young also includes separate legal entities which manage three of its four areas, Americas, EMEIA, Europe, the Middle East, India and Africa, and Asia Pacific. Note, the Japan area does not have a separate area management entity. These firms coordinate services performed by local firms within their respective areas but do not perform services or hold ownership in the local entities. The figures in this article refer to the combined revenues of each network of firms. Mergers and the Big Auditors Since 1989, mergers and one major scandal involving Arthur Anderson have reduced the number of major professional services firms from 8 to 4. Big 8 The firms were called the Big 8 for most of the 20th century, reflecting the international dominance of the eight largest firms, presented here in alphabetical order. Arthur Anderson, until its closure in 2002 for a conviction related to the Enron scandal which was later overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court, Arthur Young & Company, Coopers & Librand, until 1973 Cooper Brothers in the U.K. and Librand, Ross Brothers, and Montgomery in the United States, Ernst & Winnie, until 1979 Ernst & Ernst in the United States and Winnie Murray in the U.K. Deloitte Haskins and Sells, until 1978 Haskins and Sells in the United States and Deloitte and Company in the UK, Pete Marwick Mitchell, later Pete Marwick, then KPMG, Pricewaterhouse, Touche Ross. Most of the Big Eight originated in alliances formed between British and US audit firms in the 19th or early 20th centuries. Pricewaterhouse was a UK firm which opened a US office in 1890 and subsequently established a separate US partnership. The UK and US Pete Marwick Mitchell firms adopted a common name in 1925. Other firms used separate names for domestic business, and did not adopt common names until much later. Touche Ross in 1960, Arthur Young, at first Arthur Young, McClelland Moores, in 1968. Coopers and Librand in 1973, Deloitte Haskins and Sells in 1978 and Ernst & Winnie in 1979. The firm's initial international expansion was driven by the needs of British and US-based multinationals for worldwide service. 
they expanded by forming local partnerships or by forming alliances with local firms. Arthur Anderson had a different history. The firm originated in the United States, and expanded internationally by establishing its own offices in other markets, including the United Kingdom. In the 1980s the Big Eight, each now with global branding, adopted modern marketing and grew rapidly. They merged with many smaller firms. One of the largest of these mergers was in 1987, when Pete Marwick merged with a Klinveld main girdler, KMG, group to become KPMG Pete Marwick, later known simply as KPMG. Big Six Competition among these firms intensified and the Big Eight became the Big Six in 1989 when Ernst & Winnie merged with Arthur Young to form Ernst & Young in June, and Deloitte, Haskins & Sells merged with Touche Ross to form Deloitte and & Touche in August. Confusingly, in the United Kingdom the local firm of Deloitte, Haskins & Sells merged instead with Coopers & Librand. For some years after the merger, the merged firm was called Coopers & Librand Deloitte and the local firm of Touche Ross kept its original name. In the mid-1990s however, both UK firms changed their names to match those of their respective international organisations. On the other hand, in Australia the local firm of Touche Ross merged instead with KPMG. It is for these reasons that the Deloitte and Touche International Organisation was known as DRT International, later DTT International, to avoid use of names which would have been ambiguous, as well as contested, in certain markets. Elsewhere, the local firm in Malaysia merged with Arthur Anderson. Big Five The Big Six became the Big Five in July 1998 when Pricewaterhouse merged with Coopers and Libran to form Pricewaterhouse Coopers. Big Four the Enron collapse and ensuing investigation prompted scrutiny of their financial reporting, which was audited by Arthur Anderson, which eventually was indicted for obstruction of justice for shredding documents related to the audit in the 2001 Enron scandal. The resulting conviction, since overturned, still effectively meant the end for Arthur Anderson. Most of its country practices around the world have been sold to members of what is now the Big Four, notably Ernst & Young globally, Deloitte and Touche in the UK, Canada, Spain and Brazil, and PricewaterhouseCoopers, now known as PwC, in China and Hong Kong. 2002 saw the passage of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act into law, providing strict compliance rules to both businesses and their auditors. In 2010 Deloitte with its 1.8% growth was able to beat PricewaterhouseCoopers with its 1.5% growth to gain first place and become the largest firm in the industry. In 2011, PwC regained the first place with 10% revenue growth. In 2013, these two firms still claim the top two spots with only $200 million or 0.5% revenue difference. However, Deloitte has seen faster growth than PwC over the last few years indicating that they may reclaim the number one spot in future years. Arthur Anderson, 2001. Developed from Anderson, Delaney. Developed from Anderson, Delaney, EY, 2013. Ernst and Young, 1989. Arthur Young, 1968. Ernst and Winnie, 1979. Ernst and Ernst, US. Winnie Murray, UK, Winnie, Smith and Winnie, Ernst and Young, 1989. Arthur Young, 1968, Ernst and Winnie, 1979. Ernst and Ernst, US, Winnie Murray, UK, Winnie, Smith and Winnie, Arthur Young, 1968, Ernst and Winnie, 1979. Ernst and Ernst, US, Winnie Murray, UK, Winnie, Smith and Winnie. Ernst and Ernst, U.S., Winnie Murray, U.K., Winnie, Smith and Winnie, P.W.C., 2010. PricewaterhouseCoopers, 1998, Coopers and Librand, 1973. Cooper Brothers, U.K., Librand, Ross Brothers, Montgomery, U.S. Pricewaterhouse, PricewaterhouseCoopers, 1998, Coopers and Librand, 1973. Cooper Brothers, UK, Librand, 
Ross Brothers, Montgomery, U.S. Price Waterhouse, Price Waterhouse Coopers, 1998, Coopers and Librand, 1973. Cooper Brothers, UK, Librand, Ross Brothers, Montgomery, U.S. Cooper Brothers, UK, Librand, Ross Brothers, Montgomery, U.S. Price Waterhouse, Deloitte Touche Tohmatsu. Deloitte and Touche, 1989. Deloitte Haskins and Sells, 1978. Deloitte and Company, UK, Haskins and Sells, U.S. Touche Ross, 1960. Touche, Ross, Bailey and Smart. Ross, Touche, Canada, George A. Touche, UK, Touche, Niven, Bailey and Smart, U.S. Touche Niven, Bailey, A.R. Smart. Tohmatsu and Company, Japan, Deloitte and Touche, 1989. Deloitte Haskins and Sells, 1978. Deloitte and Company. UK, Haskins and Sells, US. Touche Ross, 1960. Touche, Ross, Bailey and Smart. Ross, Touche, Canada, George A. Touche, UK, Touche, Niven, Bailey and Smart, US. Touche Niven, Bailey, A. R. Smart, Deloitte Haskins and Sells, 1978. Deloitte and Company, UK, Haskins and Sells, U.S. Deloitte and Company, U.K. Haskins and Sells, U.S. Touche Ross, 1960. Touche Ross, Bailey and Smart. Ross, Touche, Canada, George A. Touche, U.K. Touche Niven, Bailey and Smart, U.S. Touche Niven, Bailey, A.R. Smart. Touche Ross, Bailey and Smart. Ross, Touche. Canada, George A. Touche, UK, Touche, Niven, Bailey and Smart, US. Touche Niven, Bailey, A.R. Smart, Ross, Touche, Canada, George A. Touche, UK, Touche, Niven, Bailey and Smart, US. Touche Niven, Bailey, A.R. Smart, Touche Niven, Bailey, A.R. Smart, Tohmatsu and Company, Japan, KPMG. 1987. Pete Mulwick Mitchell, 1925. William Barclay Pete, UK, Marwick Mitchell, US. KMG. Klinveld Main Girdler. Klinveld Kraunhoff, Netherlands, Thompson McClintock, UK, Main Lafrance, US. Deutsche Chuan Zelschaft, Germany, Pete Mulwick Mitchell, 1925. William Barclay Pete, UK, Marwick Mitchell, U.S., William Barclay Pete, U.K., Marwick Mitchell, U.S., K.M.G., Klinveld Main Girdler, Klinveld Kraunhoff, Netherlands, Thompson McClintock, U.K., Main Lafrance, U.S., Deutsche Chuan Zelschaft, Germany, Klinveld Main Girdler, Klinveld Kraunhoff, Netherlands, Thompson McClintock, U.K., Main Lafrance, U.S., Klinveld Kraunhoff, Netherlands, Thompson McClintock, UK, Main Lafrance, US, Deutsche Chuan Zelschaft, Germany. A year at the end indicates year of formation through merger or adoption of single brand name. A year in the beginning indicates date of closure of functioning or going out of prominence. Policy issues concerning industry concentration in the wake of industry concentration and individual firm failure, the issue of a credible alternative industry structure has been raised. The limiting factor on the growth of additional firms is that although some of the firms in the next tier have become quite substantial, and have formed international networks, effectively all very large public companies insist on having a big four audit, so the smaller firms have no way to grow into the top end of the market. Documents published in June 2010 show that some UK companies' banking covenants required them to use one of the big four. This approach from the lender prevents accounting firms in the next tier from competing for audit work for such companies. The British Bankers Association said that such clauses are rare. Current discussions in the UK consider outlawing such clauses. In 2011, 
the UK House of Lords completed an inquiry into the financial crisis, and called for an Office of Fair Trading investigation into the dominance of the Big Four. It is reported that the Big Four audit all but one of the companies that constitute the FTSE 100, and 240 of the companies in the FTSE 250, an index of the leading mid-cap listing companies. In Ireland, the Director of Corporate Enforcement, in February 2011 said, Auditors report surprisingly few types of company law offences to us, with the so-called Big Four auditing firms reporting the least often to his office, at just 5 pc of all reports. Global Member Firms D, an index of the leading mid-cap listing companies. The Big Four firms are shown below, with their latest publicly available data. This group was once known as the Big Eight, and was reduced to the Big Six, and then Big Five by a series of mergers. The Big Five became the Big Four after they handle the vast majority of audits for publicly traded companies as well as many private companies, creating an oligopoly in auditing large companies. It is reported that the Big Four audit 99% of the companies in the FTSE 196% of the companies in the FTSE 200 for the demise of Arthur Anderson in 2002, following its involvement in the Enron scandal. BDO and Grant Thornton are the fifth and sixth largest firms respectively. Legal structure None of the Big Four firms is a single firm. Rather, Big Four audit firms The Big Four are the four largest international professional services networks, offering audit, assurance, tax, consulting, advisory, actuarial, corporate finance, and legal services. Uh, they are professional services networks. Each is a network of firms, owned and managed independently, which have entered into agreements with other member firms in the network to share a common name, brand and quality standards. Each network has established an entity to coordinate the activities